that are so desperately, sorrowfully attached to our collective tribal skulls that I feel it personal to this juncture to raise issue. I would like to think of myself as a filmmaker, but of course, due to the lack of success and funding that I've had in this world, I have only won one award in New York for one film I made a long time ago with a man I now despise. I will not kill him and take out his eyes should I ever meet him again, but to meet him again would be a sad affair, I imagine, generated in huge part by his revolting betrayal of my otherwise sterling trust and training in the art of filmmaking. Now the art of filmmaking to me is something quite phenomenal, quite passionate, quite real, quite artistic and creative, quite absolutely noble in the pursuit of storytelling and independent means by which to carve a reality of imaginative substance into a world of delicate fancy and impressionable minds. And thus that said, it is this raised. I am not a fan of Quentin Tarantino. I'm sorry. Shoot me all you will in my one shot glory of disdain. For that man has scuppered my bones in the f medium of media for so long now that I will not rest any longer. I must speak up in one soliloquy. One diatribe, one to the camera face off. Not because I hate him as a soul. Well, I do actually. I, I don't like him at all. I don't like him at all. Reservoir Dogs was a horrible film, full of horrible people doing horrible things. So too was Pulp Fiction. I nearly gave up at that point. I mean, who wants to see a, a big black gimp rogering a fan of Bruce Willis or something? It was grim. Right. But then I watched Jackie Brown. Now, Jackie Brown is exceptional filmmaking. And I will say that. However, I'm not a fan of his subsequent works. And I haven't really dedicated them to them until I saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood at the cinema with Philly. And it was the most boring film I have ever seen at the cinema. It was one of the worst, definitely. Repossessed with my hero, Leslie Nielsen, was another in the 90s. But Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was, for me, one of the most arduous, irrelevant, tedious, unimaginative, futile, horrific, moronic, banal pieces of bollocks I think I've ever seen for want of entertainment. And I take no default of scripture in saying this. And I am one within my variables to declare my theories and perspectives as an enlightened one true. I much prefer the seminal and salient and divine Steven Spielberg. Although he is old now and we have passed his time, but who else fulfills the shoes? Certainly not Tarantino in my book. I'm sorry to cast despair upon those fanatics of you who dwell and quell and rage havoc for his dark methods, his dark hearts, which could be damned to hell during the apocalypse, should you know your wisdoms. But no, no. The people sit and chew up this fat of grim. And us, us mediators of class, modernity, wisdom, and generic sort of intelligence, just sort of look out of the vast canopy of cinema and think, oh fuck, is this it? Is this the best that we can come up with in the moving image? Shit and break. It doesn't even warrant exposure to further fiscal analysis. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was a piece of cinematic shit. I hated it. I would not pay money to see films like that again. Just because I'm not interested. Why would I pay spec £7 or something to sit on a chair, bored, watching CAC 
for two hours. I've got I've got much better else to do, but I don't want to be ultra bored. You know, I, I've been to the cinema a lot of times, and I'm not always bored. No, no, no. I've seen epic things at the cinema. Star Wars always touches my fancy. Marvel films are epic. Oh, and this was the point. This was the point of the polemic, Mr. Tarantino, if that is your real name. Marvel films are not shit. I have loved and watched many films and TV programs since I was a boy. And Marvel have revolutionised cinema in so many exciting new ways. Their stories are compelling because I relate to them being somewhat superhuman. But you, sir, you are the dark arts, and I do not relate to your films. I find them disturbing, horrific, guttural, temporal, without beauty, and desperately, desperately dismal. I love Marvel films in general, and Star Wars films, and Disney as a concept entirely. I find they are the sacred whisper of the human genius going on in a turn as a quest for cultural enhancement. But you, Mr. Tarantino, are a grubby little biscuit, and I will never want to happily work with you, given the darkness you employ in your desperately horrific films. I would rather work on the neighbours contract. And I hope Jason and Kylie return. But that's another matter entirely. Neighbours had more power than Quentin Tarantino in the 90s on TV, let alone cinema. And yet, what do we do? We wash it away to cultism by pseudo-intellectuals calling these false prophets fanatics of genius. No. No. Dark arts are dark arts. And it takes a light mind to know the truth. So get real and know Mel Gibson is a better director than you by a long shot. And I'm not being cruel. I'm not being horrible. I'm keeping it real. And I would say Edgar Wright is more amusing. So what do you got, Quentin? You gonna get out your beef on this one and slam dunk for me, hunky? You can't do it. Because you know I am an expert too, but I just can't be bothered to get out of bed while people flock to see films like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and all this milky bollocks. Now off you go, and remember what happens is tonight, for I am one with God. <laughs>